Hello everybody and uh, welcome to a uh, redirect reaction uh, slash um, you know whatever uh, that I decide to play this and um, I, I decided that you know usually the the post episode analysis works as well but um, I'm gonna do a rundown uh, break uh, no sorry rundown of everything in between so uh, this is a, a rundown of everything in between slash post and uh, post episode analysis because I just watched uh, episode twenty um, and I don't know if you guys will even watch the reaction so um, anyway um, I really do enjoy uh, Gotham still um, so what had happened was a lot of things happened obviously uh, Barakeen um, having the demon's head and then uh, defeating most of them I think Rachel Gold came back. Um, uh, and Barbara Keen let go of the demon's head to uh, Rachel Ghoul, so Rachel Ghoul is alive. Um, and then you have uh, Jerome who died, and now it's Jeremiah Valeska who seems to have a more calculated approach. But uh, you know, for me, you know, that's not really the Joker way, uh, that is more on like, um, you know, uh, um. Well, that's more towards uh, like a kind of like a Lex Luthor kind of deal with me um, because for me, like Jerome is the Joker. He's the the faceless Joker, you know, from the comics, but he's still the Joker. So you know, he's very much the you know distract and um, you know an eyelid, blah blah blah. And I really enjoy that aspect, uh, but they they brought in a new kind of angle to it, which I don't mind, but too much. But you know, I would have liked to see you more on the crazy part because that is what makes the Joker entertaining. You know, he's 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 a clown. You know, he's funny and he's he's, he's ridiculous. He goes over the top. Uh, so that's just me. Um, and over the course of the episodes we watched. Um, uh, Ed Edward Nigma, uh, you know, fall in love with uh, Lee Tompkins, and they're, they're kind of together now. Not sure about that, uh, but it seems that uh, the Penguin, you know, is, is having a lesser and lesser role. I hope that they, you know, get him in the forefront again because you know he is supposed to help Butch, um, and so far he hasn't done much to help. Uh, but uh, of course, you know, I don't think he, he ever is, but uh, you know, it's at least building to something that maybe, you know, he's gonna go see Hugo Strange and then everything is gonna wrap up in that way. But obviously they wanna, they wanna focus on this uh, Jeremiah Valeska storyline first, which is the Joker storyline. Um, and uh, I... I don't know how to feel about the the new Harley Quinn, uh, but before that, I'm just trying to think of anything else that had happened. You know, it was the whole big uh, caboose with the with the with the with the town square thing, where you know uh, Jer J Jerome you know planned everything and then uh, he died. But you know, as he said the first time, it's all you know the Joker, or he he is not you know uh, just a person. He is an idea. So maybe you know if uh, Jer Jeremiah dies, you know it's it's gonna continue in that in that path, um, because as like Toph Bay Fong said in um, the Le the Legend of Korra as well, like um, you know the names change, but the crime is still the same. Um, but you know overall, I I do feel like this season is kind of like mixed like. You know they don't have an overarching uh, storyline. I mean, yeah, you can argue that the Jerome Velasca slash Jeremiah Velasca storyline is the kind of overarching one, but um, they they haven't had like a solid like plot to say yeah this is gonna happen more and more towards that side. Um, I also you know found that you know the the past few episodes was just building, 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 and then now it's the, the consequences, everything that's happened, that, that will happen because of everything that has happened, um, and, uh, for me, for me, um, you know, the new Harley Quinn is, is something where I'm like, 
you know, she seems to be like very like fight worthy, like she can fight and all that. But I don't accept her as the Harley Quinn, as I don't like kind of accept Jeremiah as the Joker because uh, the Joker and the Harley Quinn for me is the the top to like you know the um, you know, Batman villains for me because they are so toxic together because you know one is super super crazy and, and mad and one has fallen into love with that and kind of is in that pool herself uh, and so she will do anything for him and it's kind of that you know Bonnie and Clyde thing where it's like I will follow you anywhere and uh, it doesn't matter what happens to me as long as uh, you know you know that I've done this for you um, so I, I do understand the you know the reservations of people when they say like oh you know it's not really the joke or whatever uh, because you know you you can say that they aren't really d doing much to prove otherwise because you know, don't get me wrong. Like this idea of a Saint Joker and a and a really badass Harley. Qu like I mean, the Harley Quinn is already badass, but like this one is more like of a an assassin kind of deal. Uh, and I don't, I really don't mind that. But um, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to see more of the the crazy and the and the. Because there's always a philosophy or a psychology behind that crazy and, and why is it that way and of course there is also a psychology to why he wants to do uh, this um, Jeremiah because in his mind you know he wants to he wants to control everything uh, uh, like Penguin did uh, in the first season so perhaps him and uh, Penguin are also gonna square off at one point uh, I'm not sure about that but uh, the point still stands that um, if they're gonna if they're gonna go through with this type of storyline, they they should have more of um, more of an idea about like okay, like why is why why is he doing what he does? Is he is it to just you know show his brother that he's better than him in everything or is it because uh, secretly he's also kind of just crazy in his own way um, and I hope they, they dive into that um, and yet because that uh, for me like everything else be before that is just um, you know fillers you know mostly fillers because we, we get the whole like a uh, butch girls in and penguin um, you know interacting with, with each other but um, you know other than that uh, you know it's, there's nothing much you know we still don't know uh, if um, uh, Rachel Gould is gonna have a, a big role to play in the, uh, in the climax of this this season or is uh, Barbara Keaton going to come in and and, and um, and uh, you know, submit fealty to, to the new Joker, the Jeremiah, or um, is he just gonna like, nuke everything? Because th that bomb is kind of like nuke. Is any like stuff that it's like clean energy? Like it's never really clean. Clean is like you know, it, it can have you know a, a stronger impact. You know, like. Because it, it's come to like a boiling point or something, you know, that goes like really, you know, impactful. Um, I wonder what happened to Alfred, obviously, but I, I definitely think, you know, maybe, maybe really, really injured or, you know, uh, he's just, he's just probably bleeding out. I'm not sure about that, but I don't think uh, Jim Gordon is dead, obviously, because he flipped the switch and then he, he ran away. Um, so I thought that was a uh, kind of like a, a blind uh, blind spot or a hindsight uh, maneuver from uh, Jeremiah there because you know, he did show him like how how he escapes and whatever. So um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my full reaction. Uh, link is in the description below. 
uh, please remember to be subscribe to me and, and uh, share my videos and like it if you like it um, and uh, consider supporting me on patreon patreon.com slash walter all caps um, and also yeah I will see you guys in the next video which is probably uh, next two weeks I'm, I'm thinking of doing it like two weeks two week interval because I, I just I don't have as much motivation as I had and, and anyway because like you know in a way the, the new policy changes I have have made me kind of like very iffy about things and and I just like feel like there isn't much I can do to kind of push this agenda um, and also like YouTube doesn't really care about the small creators anymore so I, I don't feel like doing stuff it's kind of a mixed bag because like in in one hand I really do still want to do this but in another hand like you know a lot of the a lot of the YouTube stuff hasn't been promoting the 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 smaller channel stuff you know because they don't care like you know there's never a small creator month or whatever that YouTube uh, does uh, you know there's never um, and now promoting the 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 small the best small creators you know uh, there's never there's never challenges for for small small creators to be like yeah I wanna wanna be the best so you know they rush off and, and do their best work and I think this is you know suggestions overall for me to to YouTube uh, you know if you want to change the policy you can do that but you still need to make sure that people are making content you know make, make sure that people are still on your website uh, but unfortunately that they don't care as they don't care that much um, so yeah anyway thank you guys for watching that was kind of like a <laughs> ramble for me and then I'm so sorry about that and uh yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. See you then.